Hey guys, welcome to the uh, part two on dynamics. Uh, what this is going to be is just a little recap of uh, part one, um, maybe about five minutes or so. So if I go over five minutes, then uh, sorry about that. So hey, listen, what we got here going on is um, uh, we looked at uh, examples of Newton's second law, and I'm just gonna I'm gonna write that down for you again. It says that the sum of forces is equivalent to the mass times the acceleration okay so in the last problem set you had to just uh you had to find acceleration you had to find mass uh, and you might have had to find the net force okay now uh, one thing we didn't really talk too much about was this little term uh called net So what we're talking about net is the sum of all the forces. So let me give you an example here. Okay, we're going to give you an example of a typical block resting on a surface. Okay, I'm going to label all the forces. Okay, you've got the applied force to the right, we'll say. You've got what's called a normal force up got the force of weight down and then you've got the force of friction pulling backwards on the block now because the block is sitting on the table we know that it's not accelerating in the up and down direction it's actually staying put okay but so we know that the two forces we're gonna have to look at are gonna be the X and the uh, the X uh, forces so let's just put a number on here and say that um, we have a 10 Newton force to the right and a 3 Newton force to the left. Okay, we'll call that negative. If I were to draw a free body diagram of that, all I would have would be a 10 Newton and then a, again, not the scale, and that's okay, 3 Newton. So my overall net force would be seven newtons to the right. Now, if I gave you a, a mass here, let's say that this mass was seven kilograms, and you'll see why I'm making it seven. Um, could I calculate the acceleration of this object? Absolutely. All right, so I can calculate the acceleration of the object using F equals MA. Okay, I want the acceleration. Look, I've got the net force, it's seven. I've got the mass, it's seven. I'm gonna get the acceleration. So acceleration is net force over mass. So the acceleration of this would be seven newtons over seven kilograms. So we have an acceleration in the positive direction of one meter per second squared. So every second, this thing uh, increases its velocity by one meter per second. So it is an accelerating object. Uh, we know that it's not accelerating in the up or downward direction. Uh, and later on, we're going to, uh, uh, in the next video, I'm gonna talk a little bit about how to calculate the weight and how to calculate that normal force that we've been talking about, okay? So this is just a little recap, get you going on the, um, on the second section here and um, again these videos are best played um, personally I like to play them at 1.25 speed because I tend to talk a little slower on the video uh, and it kind of like uh, brings it all together at a 1.25 I, I think YouTube actually slows down the video a little bit um, it seems as though that happens so again um, we'll work on to the second video and uh, have a great day